Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Friday, it is Friday, so it is weigh-in day, it is WW Workshop Topic Day. I'm going to share with you all about my week and we're going to see if I hit 100 pounds loss. That's right, last week I was ounces away from hitting 100 pounds loss, so you're gonna find out first if I did it this week. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I upload lots and lots of new videos every week, about five, and turn your bell on so you never miss a future upload. We do a weigh-in every single Friday. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. And if you would like to chat with me directly, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to all of my favorite things as well as my Facebook group, come on over, join us there, are all down in that description box. So let's jump into this week's WW Workshop topic, how my week went, my weigh-in, and whether or not your girl hit 100 pounds down. I hope you had an absolutely fantastic week. We had a great week. We had a very, very busy week. I actually have quite a few nutrition coaching clients, so I've been on lots and lots of calls, figuring out lots of macros and calories, still moving in, still settling into our new house. We actually got our new washer and dryer and refrigerator this week, as well as the rest of the furniture that we ordered. So finally, our house is coming together and I'm able to film that home tour very, very shortly, which of course I'm excited to share with you guys our new home in good old sunny Arizona. This week I really, really focused on getting in my water and making sure I was on point with my food because I have goals. I had a goal to hit 100 pounds loss this week. As of last Friday, as of last week's weigh-in, I was 99.1 pounds down, which basically means that I have to lose about 0.9 pounds basically one pound this week to 100 pounds down. So of course, I'm going to share with you whether or not I did that. But before I do, I want to talk with you guys about this week's WW workshop topic, because once again, they are hitting the nail on the head. This is such a relevant, special, important topic. And that is how to deal with cravings and emotional eating. This one sentence truly says it all. I'm totally this emotion and I need this food. Does this sound familiar? Because I know it definitely sounds familiar for me. Eating when you're not hungry is 100% normal and luckily it's something that we can change. There are some things that we can do to check in with ourselves to see if we're truly hungry or if we're just emotionally eating. Now I am someone in full transparency who doesn't eat when I'm stressed out or sad. I actually have the opposite effect where I'm never hungry. I'm a bored eater, so when I'm watching TV or when I'm bored, which luckily for me isn't very often, that's when I start feeling hungry or the need to have a snack. So whenever this happens or whenever you find yourself maybe veering towards emotional eating, check in with yourself and ask yourself some simple things. Number one, get comfortable, close your eyes, and focus on your breathing. This will shift your brain from thinking about food into thinking about your breathing. Number two is picture an ocean. We all love a beautiful picture of an ocean. This ocean has gentle waves. Think about how they rise and they fall, how they come in and then how they disappear again. And number three is imagine each wave and how this is driving you to think about what you want to eat. It could be a stressful day at work or just an overall life happens moment. Watch as each thought and feeling or urge kind of passes you by, like those waves, as it comes in and as it goes out. And lastly, acknowledge and accept what you're feeling and what you're thinking. It's okay to emotionally eat. Think about this. Acknowledge it and really deep dive into it. And after about two solid minutes, take three deep breaths and come back into the present moment. Open your eyes and re-familiarize yourself with your surroundings. When a craving or a strong emotion hits, these four little key elements can play a big part in whether or not that feeling or emotion leads to eating. It can be loud and all-encompassing, like all you can think about is the food that you want. The good news is it's possible to shift that voice into a different direction. And by closing your eyes and 
imagining something special and really focusing on that moment, those waves coming in and coming out. Again, it takes your mind off of food and really kind of reshifts your thinking and reestablishes your surroundings so that maybe you're not likely to emotionally eat. And remember what we talked about last week, external hunger and internal hunger. Internal hunger is when we're actually hungry and external is external environments that make us think that we're hungry such as emotionally eating. The key to staying on track and to navigating this and to being successful is number one is recognizing the triggers. Recognize what's driving you to emotionally eat and find something else to do. Maybe it's taking that moment to close your eyes and think about an ocean, or maybe you need to get up and walk around or find another task to do so that your brain shifts from eating emotionally to the task at hand. And remember to think fully about your internal and external hunger to cues because this can play a big part in whether or not you give in to those cravings. Like I mentioned last week, I don't think that there is a single solitary person on earth who hasn't emotionally ate at some point. Whether it be happy eating, sad eating, stress eating, bored eating, every single one of us at some point in our life or at some point in our future life will emotionally eat. So by knowing your triggers and knowing how to navigate this, you can really save yourself the struggle of falling into emotional eating. So once again, I really, really like this topic. I think it's relevant for everyone. And I really like the dialogue that WW has with the internal and external hunger because it's something that's really hard for people to recognize and navigate through. So I'm really enjoying this little series of workshop topics. So now let's jump into my weigh-in. Like I mentioned, I went ahead and really focused this week on number one, getting in my water and number two, being on point with my food because I had goals. I had the goal of hitting 100 pounds down. Being 99.1 pounds down last week, so close to that ultimate goal. So when I stepped on the scale after a really, really good week, I am down not one pound, not two pounds, but 2.2 pounds, which puts me 100 pounds lost and then some. I have lost 101 Point three pounds. So I surpassed that 100 pound lost goal for the week and I am so, so happy. I'm sure you can see it all over my face. I am so excited to reach this milestone. It's been a process. It has been a several year process. I actually started my weight loss journey in 2019. It is now 2022 and I just now hit 100 pounds loss. There was a lot of this. There has been a lot of that throughout my journey. I've had some wins, I've had a lot of fails, I've had losses, I've had gains, I've had maintains, I've had it all. But I am so happy that not only did I stick with it, but I've remained consistent, especially over the last year, year and a half. And this milestone really is life-changing for me. I can't tell you how much better I feel my knees don't hurt anymore. My back doesn't hurt. I don't get out of breath climbing stairs. I feel lighter on my feet. I love clothes shopping. I love taking pictures now. I could go on and on with all the things in my life that have changed for the positive by losing 100 pounds. And a lot of it is thanks to you guys for supporting my channel and being my friends and my cheerleaders and offering me valuable advice that I take that has helped me reach my first milestone goal. My heart is full. My heart is so happy and full to hit 100 pounds down. I also promised last week that I would share with you what we discussed at my doctor's appointment this last week when I established care with my new doctor here in Arizona. She was great and she fully understood the journey that I've been on and we talked a little bit about goal weight. She said that she can't give me a goal weight which I kind of expected because we know our bodies and we have to figure out what weight are we comfortable at and that's going to be our goal weight. She did say which made me really happy that they do not follow the BMI chart, which is great because it's so incredibly outdated and unrealistic and just not something that we should focus on. She said that she would recommend that I set my goal weight where I feel comfortable. We talked a little bit about how many more pounds that I want to lose. And I told her that right now I'm looking between 30 and 40 more pounds of weight loss before I feel like I'm at a healthy, sustainable weight. And I will tell you that the weight that I'm shooting for has nothing to do with the BMI chart. It is substantially higher than the BMI chart and substantially higher than what WW would give me as a goal weight. But my doctor and I both agree that anywhere between 30 and 40 more pounds will get me right where I need to be. And we also agree that I can do that by the end of 2022. So that is my goal. I am going to hit my goal weight by the end of this year. Mark my words, it's definitely going to happen. 
after hitting 100 pounds lost, after meeting with my doctor and her encouraging me and supporting me to keep going, I am more motivated than ever to reach my goal that I set at the beginning of the year to hit my goal weight. Of course, I'll share with you guys my weigh-ins every week as I continue to lose weight. Once I get to my goal weight, I'll share with you what that number is. I want to make sure that's where I'm comfortable and that's where I feel that's sustainable for me before I share any type of number with you guys. But just know that I am on the fast track mission in life to hit that goal this year. So it's been a great week. It's been one of the best weeks that I've had in a very long time. I feel so fulfilled and excited and motivated by hitting that 100 pounds and having something to shoot for as a healthy number on the scale. I just, I couldn't be happier with how things are going. And thank you guys, of course, for your support and your friendship and for watching my videos and being in my Facebook group and all the things that you do to help me on my journey, it doesn't go unnoticed and I appreciate it more than I could ever even tell you. So now I wanna hear from you guys. I wanna know how was your week? Did you gain, did you lose? How are you moving towards your goals and are you an emotional eater? And share with us maybe some tips and tricks that you have to not emotionally eat and reach your goals. If you enjoyed this weigh-in and you're excited that I'm 100 pounds down, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not and ring your bell because I upload five days a week and we do a weigh-in every single Friday. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come on over, join my Facebook group. It's a great way to keep up with me day to day and a really loving and supportive community. We'd love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. Happy weekend. And I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.